Hey, what's out of folks? Thanks for now. One here back at some month 15. You guys have been asking me up for a while. Hey, Texas, what is your current lineup? So let's go ahead and show you guys who I'm rocking with on the offense and defensive side of the ball. So offensively, our team is very, very explosive with the receivers we got. We got Kelvin Benjamin, six foot five, but he he plays like he does in real life. He's so frustrating, right? He'll catch an amazing pass one play. Next play, nobody near him drops a wide open ball and i want to blame madden for being just awful but that's just how he plays so this is the only card in madden that i experienced that plays like he does in real life which is just very very inconsistent but he's six foot five he's my tallest receiver next to mike evans and he has good spec catch he has pretty decent speed but it's just a height that's the reason why i have him plus he's a panther so i kind of have to have him right we also got steve smith senior who might be the best blocking receiver in this game I can't count on how many times this guy has pretty much like pinned somebody. Or like I'm trying to run up the middle of the field, run to the sidelines, and he's like got a cornerback or a safety or a linebacker just pinned. Like he is very, very good because he's just very, very physical. So also we got Reggie Wayne playing the slot because I like those guys that have very, very good catching traffic. He has 98 catching traffic. Now he's kind of slow, but as long as he catches those tough balls across the middle of the field, those quick slants, those curl routes in the middle of the field where he's gonna get hit by a linebacker or a safety. That's why I have him there. I went ahead and bought Roddy White. This guy is, he's not bad, right? He has faster speed than I anticipated. He has 94 speed. I thought he might have like 92 speed, 91 speed, but he has 94 speed, which is very, very good. A good catch of traffic as well. So a good, reliable backup to Reggie Wayne if he gets hurt. We also got T.Y. Hilton. And of course, we got Reggie Bush playing receiver sometimes because this guy is just a goon out there catching balls and making guys miss. At tight end, we got Greg Olson and Mike Evans. Now, Mike Evans at tight end is just a straight glitch, like, 6'5", 94 speed, 96 catching, 96 catching traffic in a 96 release. He is not a good run blocker, neither is Greg Olson. So for running the ball, it's pretty much out of shotgun because this guy, they can't block. They can't block, but when it comes to a mismatch being down the field, like if a linebacker is on Mike Evans and he doesn't know it's Mike Evans, he's not keeping up with him because the streaks over the top are going to be there every single time. Why you don't believe me? Just watch. Moving on to our offensive line, and we got Taylor Luan, we got Zach Moore, we got Ryan Khalil, Chance Warmback, Jay Matthews. Now, all these guys have bad awareness. I think my average awareness on my offensive line is right around a 78. I think this guy is like 75, 75, like 73, 75, like 80 something. So my guys aren't smart, but I don't understand this game, right? I had the best offensive line I could have for the South one. I had John Hossawa, I had Dwayne Brown, I had all these high overall players that were going for so many coins. And these guys block so much better and they have low awareness. Like, I don't understand what's going on with Madden. So, Zach Martin's here right now because not many right guards in the NFC South or AFC South that I can use. Like, I could go by, uh, or left guards, I should say left guards. I could go by the Teasons, oh, not Teasons, but the, was it, Mad 25 throwback? Uh, what's his name? Zach, what's his name? What is his name? What is his name? Andy Levitri, that is his name. But I could go ahead and buy him, throw him right here. But right now, this team's blocking really well. So let's not screw up the chemistry these guys have established in three games. This team has pretty much bailed me out of a lot of tough situations with running the ball and passing effectively. So that is my current offensive line. And moving on to our skill position, our quarterback, Cam Newton. This guy is a beast, six foot five. Like, this, is, it's like, this guy is just so fun to play with. Like he, He'll make a frustrating throw. He'll throw the ball into the dirt on an easy pass but when he makes a pass when he breaks a tackle throws down the field it's just so rewarding like he's so good but like rg3 is pretty good as well but this cam Newton is a really good card and i can only imagine what's going to happen when somebody decides to make a golden ticket cam Newton, because he's going to be a beast just like he was last year we got zach metberger backing him up when i'm not using rg3 just to use him uh we also got chris johnson who i think his 98 speed is a lie it's a lie, right? 98 speed, 99 acceleration. He gets caught from behind so bleeping much, you guys. It's not even funny. Like, he'll be down the field, nobody near him, and then here comes Starwood Tillet, here comes J.J. Watt, here comes Keekly to make the tackle. So that 98 speed is kind of a lie, but he is fun to play with. Like, he does not fumble that much. He has when he's getting, like, hit squared in the chest, but this guy runs up the middle for me and is a pretty consistent halfback at that. So that Chris Johnson's a goon. We also got Maurice Jones-Drew backing him up. We got Jonathan Stewart, 
Who else we got? We got Reggie Bush as well. Like, our team is pretty much stacked at halfback. The best halfback I've played with in this game so far has been Denard Robinson, who's just a glitch. If you guys ain't got yourself one, you might want to go pick him up. He's around 3,000 gold. Like, that's a really cheap price for a halfback that I'm pretty much praising at this point. Let's move to my defense. My favorite part is my front seven. J.J. Watt, star, Joe McCoy. This Chris Clemens, this Chris Clemens has no chill. Like, he has no chill he spin moves so damn good like right like look at these clips This Chris Clemens is amazing. Now, I run a 3-4. I run a 3-4. I play Peppers at the outside linebacker spot because he bitches off the edge. But we got Chris Clemens on the inside, McCoy, J.J. Watts, and Thomas Davis will be playing out in coverage a lot. So my front seven, I think, is probably the best you can construct without over like overspending because this team gets pressure. This team wins a lot of games. This team just is very, very good because of these freaking seven guys right here. So if you guys want to build a team like mine, if you guys got Chris Clements, play him on the inside. He is so good, and it's unbelievable how he's so good there because he should be getting dicked on, but he's out here balling, playing that right in slot, but he's amazing. As I said earlier, we got Peppers playing the outside linebacker spot, and this guy is so good at outside linebacker. He's so versatile. He can make so many plays doing anything. He can blitz. He can drop back into coverage. Like He is really really good and that's why i sold thomas davis i had the 98 honors thomas davis who i did not want to sell but peppers is so versatile if you guys happen to have the packers peppers the outside linebacker one that's around twenty thousand coins in the auction block get him right away because he can blitz off the edge he can also drop back into coverage and he's six foot seven he's a great user player like, look at this guy like look at him this is the uh this is the what is it, flashback one he's so good like he's not 89 speed 6 7 96 acceleration like his catching is good as well this is a pretty damn good card 73 catch that's a pretty damn good card so you guys might want to pick him up if you guys don't have him well not pick this one don't pick this one this one's expensive but pick up the packers peppers the uh the road to the playoff julius peppers because that'd be a good look right there as well at linebacker we got luke keekley and paul warlow uh i was gonna buy david hearthrone of the saints but he's around 50,000 coins. I'm not paying that for an 86 speed linebacker. I paid around 5k for Paul Warlow, so that's a good deal right there. We got Thomas Davis and Telvin Smith. I will be buying the 93 Thomas Davis pretty soon, but right now I'm just pretty much in a process of seeing if I can get by by using this guy because he has still good speed. He's still one of the fastest cars in this game with his 89 speed, and he gets the job done outside linebacker, so that's why I have him there as well. Moving on to our secondary, which is our weakest part of our team. We got Jarius Bird and we got Major Wright. I bought Major Wright for 50,000 coins because because I needed him for the South one lineup, and yo, he looks just like Morgan Burnett. He's not at six foot, but 5'11 is close enough. 90 play rec, 90 zone coverage, 95 hit power with a 92 speed. He's very fast, very elusive. So this is a really, really fun card to play with. Uh, I haven't really forced any fumbles with this guy just yet, but man, he's a really good user player because he's very, very fast and he catches picks as well. So that's why I have that guy right there. Our cornerback situation is kind of interesting because I do want to upgrade to the 95 Vontae Davis, but I'm not about to spend 300,000 coins on Vontae Davis. I want to buy a keep to lead, but again, I'm not about to spend 400,000 coins on a cornerback, and I also want to get ATV Ultron Burner, but I don't want to spend 200,000 coins on that guy just yet. So I might buy these cornerbacks whenever the positional cornerback set drops, but as of right now, we got Jason McCourty, we got Desmond Trufant, Jonathan Joseph, Fonte Davis, and we got him backing up strong safety and Jonathan Banks, and he's just like 6'1", 6'2", so that is a pretty good card to have as a backup to Jerry Bird and also Deion Sanders, who for some reason is still pretty good in this game. He just doesn't catch picks as much as I would like him to. And that is my lineup update. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did that thumbs up button, the South one is almost complete. I do need to get a better left guard. I do need to go ahead and buy ATV, Akeem Tlaib, or Vontae Davis. In the comment section below, guys, who should I buy? Should I buy ATV, Akeem Tlaib, or Vontae Davis? I'll buy one of those three players, and hopefully they play well for my team. If not, it is what it is. I'm the Texas boy, and I'll catch y'all mother bleepers later. Peace.